I bet you'll never guess what I'm making. Well, I'm making chili, and I'm going to add some stewing beef into it, but I'm going to brown it up first in the pan with a little bit of um, coconut oil. And I'll show you as I'm doing that. Yes, Bill, you want to brown it, not boil it, buddy. That's, that's, that's the better way. <laughs> but anywho, so I'm going to put in an assortment of different beans and corn and different things and tomatoes and kidney beans and here's some, some seasonings I'm going to put in. This is a, a tasty seasoning. You can go get yours. Check them out. There's a thingy there. I don't know if that thing will scan or not on the television. Yeah, it's pretty fancy stuff. So I'm going to put a little bit of carrots in there and I'm going to put some uh, seasoning salt on my meat before I brown it up and uh, throw her all in the slow cooker because I'm going to see Goli Girl tomorrow. So when you add your meat hunks, you just want to add a few at a time and get them nice and brown and then just add them to your crock pot. You don't want to overcrowd the pan because they'll start to like stew in the juices and stuff and unless you're Bill Stuff, you don't want that. Working with no countertops is uh, is awesomeness, but soon, soon we'll have some. All right, so I've got my oli in there, and just gonna start throwing some meat on. want to get them in there. You don't want to crowd the pan. A little hot. So you can start. Just getting shit everywhere on my new stove. I gotta turn on the fan so we gotta quit this for a minute. And you can still hear it. It doesn't need to cook all the way through, you just want to get some brown to seal in some of the juices. Because it will cook in the slow cooker. So I'm going to try to get all of the sides. Just quick with my... So it's pretty simple, you just keep doing that until you get a bit of a brown tone to it. You can see there's a little bit of brown on it. And then just throw it into the slow cooker and keep going. Alright, so I've got the meat all done up there and I'm going to open up all the cans of stuff and put it in there and turn it on. So these beans come in like schmig that is disgusting so I always uh, drain them and rinse them with cold water and then uh, I got some beans into there and tomatoes so I'm going to put a can of tomato paste and some corn yet and all my different sprinklings and we're good to go. So there we go, I got everything in there and all my different spices. I decided to leave this one out. Um, I just like to smell everything as I put it in. If it smells like it can go, then put it in. If it doesn't smell like it goes, don't put it in. Yeah, so now I'm going to just stir it all up, see how much water I need to add to it, and uh, get it going. So I've never made it quite like this before, so I'm excited to see how the meat turns out in it, and I'm sure the meat will... Um, release some more juices and different things too so we don't want it too runny in that that way so we'll see where it's at and then uh, if we need to add more water we will. Now I gotta clean up this disaster and get supper started then we're gonna go for a shifty ride. So there we go chili with beef and rice. Was for something. 
How much for something? You want some supper? Are you so starving? Is it way past your supper time? You want some food? No? Oh goodness. How much for something? Let's go check it out. <laughs> what do you think? How much for something? You had some for lunch already. Was it disgusting? Yeah. Not enough ketchup or brown sugar. Buddy. Well, you can check out Bill's channel for that. Gracie. Gracie, come here. Gracie, come Gracie, come Abby. Abby. So for dessert, I just have some vanilla ice cream and some fresh berries that I mix with a little bit of sugar and maple syrup. Delicious. What happened? I just got back from shopping with Goalie Girl. I had to uh, find a new cake tray for the bottom of my uh, cake thing here because Mine had a dirty crack in the middle and I was afraid it was going to bust, so found this one for 12 13 bucks. Scores, it works, and so then you can also flip it over and then flip this thing over and put the nub into the guy. And then you also have a fancy serving bowl. This was my mom's cake topper. I bought it for her when she was decorating cakes and stuff. and. So then, uh, I think she brought it here one time and I stole it. Mine! Let's just go check out the chili. It's all done now. I'm pretty excited to give it a try. The meat uh, is all cooked so it's nice and tor nice and tender. I don't know what I was trying to say there. But, uh, no ketchup or brown sugar in this guy. And uh, if you like to go see ketchup and brown sugar in your different meals, you can go check out uh, Bill Self, and I'll put in the link in my thing, and you can check it out if you like the ketchup and brown sugar variety of different things, right? Did you miss me so bad? You want a treat? You want a treat? You want a treat? Ready? You want a treat? Alright, let's do this. Let's get a treat. <laughs>